Hello everyone, my name is Mo and today I want to show you how to use uh, Google Collab and connect uh, it to the Kaggle website, uh, one of the uh, most largest uh, websites for data science. So there are a lot of competitions, data sets on this website and people usually use these data sets to train or even to join the competitions. So this would be very easy with this method without downloading in directly to your hard drive. So uh, here we go. I will start with uh, installing Kaggle. Pip install the version of Kaggle. So I will just try to install it and it may take some seconds, hopefully. Here we go. It's uh, now installed on my Google Collab. And then I have to import files from Google Collab. So from google.collab import files. Oh, uh, I just find out that I made a mistake here. No big deal. Okay and uh, then I should upload uh, a file which I can find it and uh, it's a JSON file you need it for to connect to the collab so if you go to the collab uh, to this part your account in account here uh, all the way down here uh, you can see in the API uh, you can use this two button First, you feel, if you haven't used it before, you can just create a new API token. If you just used it before, uh, you can expire uh, the other ones and create a new one. And here I will expire that because I used it before. So expired API tokens. And I will create a new one. So it's Kaggle one that JSON because I already had one in my file. I will remove this and uh, also rename it to Kaggle to just be very simple. Okay. And okay, I have this Kaggle file here. And uh, okay, uh, here I want to upload the file. So, files that upload. And I need to have access to this file, this uh, JSON file. So uh, I got an error, and as you can see, uh, I, can, I don't have access uh, to choose the file, and that's why uh, I need to give Collab access to some cookies, actually, all the cookies. <laughs> And you can just uh, simply, uh, I, I usually put it in black third party cookies, but you can also do this. And then I will run it again. So now I have access to uh, choose a file. I will choose a file from this Kaggle JSON, which is here. So now everything is okay. I can go further with the next part. So I'm gonna here make a, a Kaggle, that Kaggle folder here, okay? Uh, make directory and uh, here we got that Kaggle and okay. And this is also done. So I have everything that I need and uh, here I need to copy the JSON file to this folder and uh, the next step is copy kaggle.json and from uh, to sorry uh, dot kaggle and Copy it and that's done also. 
and uh, in this step I want to just give permission just need to copy this no big deal I just want to give permission to use this file as a source it's inside the Kaggle and the name is Kaggle.json okay. oh, I made a mistake here okay And so uh, now we are connected to the Kaggle. We have the JSON file. We can see what data sets we have inside the Kaggle. So let's go and check. It will return a list of data sets on Kaggle website. So we can see uh, all its data sets, sorry and uh, we can see what, uh, what data sets we have got here in Kaggle website I uh, want to just uh, get access to the small one because I don't want to spend time just to downloading it so I will go to remunerating here and okay uh, in this part we can just go for uh, connect to this one so I'm gonna go back and if you remember the name Remen Ratings you can go to the Kaggle and search for Remen Ratings and it will show up here and here is the competition so you either have a link here to access to this uh, notebook or to this data set or you can click here uh, if you can see here yeah copy the API command okay and come here and just paste it but just notice that you should put a exclamation mark here before all the information and uh, here we go we have data set uh, downloaded in our Google Collab and so I would say Let's, let me show you where is the file here okay we are inside the content we have our let me just delete this I will do it again and uh, we have our Rayman ratings zip Rayman ratings that zip here in, inside the content uh, so next uh, we have a zipped file here we should unzip it first but uh, i would say i will create a directory here make directory and i will call it uh, remen simply and uh, yeah let's make it and now uh, if you refresh it here you will get this uh, remen folder and uh, I will unzip this file okay unzip the file to the directory which is called Rayman okay and yeah uh, now we got it here inside the Rayman uh, I want to read the data okay from this directory so I should first uh, direct it to this directory because we are inside the content right now so we should go inside the Rayman and then we will have access to this CSV file you can see and here uh, I will go uh, I can do it like uh, CD with CD and we are inside the content inside the from content we can go to ramen and yeah now we are inside the ramen and I can import pandas as pd and call it a data frame and pd.read 
CSV, sorry, CSV, and uh, the file name is, and uh, the file name is Remen uh, dash rating CSV. Okay, Remen dash rating dot CSV, and let me just try it. So maybe CSV rating, oh, it's ratings. Okay, and all this, uh, everything is good, and I can just see the data frame. So we connected to uh, Kaggle with a JSON file that we created from the API. And uh, now we have access to the files that we need here. Thank you.